about Dr. Murray, your journey into art and art therapy is really unique. You've only been painting for a few years, but yet your artwork is auctioned at charity auctions. So how did you come to pick up the paintbrush? You know what? I learned to be a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened actually is um, I took one art lesson and, and I was forced to take it by my wife, Laura Lee. Uh, and when I took the lesson, the teacher said, don't take any more art classes. And she meant it honestly. <laughs> she said, you have your own unique talent. And I said, I've never drawn art. I don't know how to do anything. I just was thinking I was just putting things on paper. Uh -huh. And anyway, so I took that one art class and she told me to buy some, you know, papers and paint and things like that, canvases. I bought some, but my life was too busy and I ignored it. Unfortunately, I had a retinal detachment oh. and I had a vitrectomy, so I had to put my chin on my chest mm -hmm. for a month and had nothing to do. So Laura Lee said, you know, here she comes again. It's <laughs> nice to have a wife and a wonderful wife. And then so um, she said, why don't you start at least doing some art? And I began yeah, yeah. to do it. I had nothing else to do and I just loved it. And it turned into a powerful impact on my life. You know, um, they say when people throw curveballs at you, yes. you have to learn to hit it out of the park. Absolutely. So somebody and threw a curveball and I did. <laughs> Absolutely. What inspires you to get up and do the art therapy? Is it something you do every morning or is, what inspires you? Well, I do it at different times. Sometimes there's a month when I'm not doing any and sometimes okay. in one day I'll do two or three pieces. But the other thing that really inspires me is become a way for me to communicate my passion and my love for life and wellness. So a lot of times we do art therapy classes. And what we do is I start with giving everybody coloring paper and crayons. And I say, this is a test. This is a group of people. Yes. And they're coloring, everyone colors where? Inside, Inside the, the lines. lines. <laughs> and I said, you know what? When you're a toddler, you color throughout the whole paper. So inside the line is what you think your potential is, yes. but all that white space is your true potential. Wow. So you have to act like a toddler and really become the real you, the one that can be more than anything else. So then we go out into, and look at the canvases, and it's really not about art because we just act like a child. We throw paint yes. wherever it goes and put lines here, and if it gets a little bit on our clothes, a little bit, it's okay, but we, we zipper, so it's not so bad. Yes. And so it, it, it's that fun and, and animation that you had when you were a toddler that we've lost. And at the same time, we're doing something that gives you a passion, something that you love. I remember attending one of your retreats and I got that coloring paper and you told us the to color and I thought I was doing such a good job keeping <laughs> it so neat. And then you walk in, you're like, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and, and there were like all these adults throwing this paint in, and I think we had glitter too. Oh yeah. And we were having such a ball. Absolutely. It was amazing. The love and the passion you had when you were a toddler. We don't, we don't laugh anymore. We don't yes. have belly laughs. I mean, I ask people, when was the last time you had a belly laugh? And they say, what, belly laugh? <laughs> and then, you know, it's, I mean, laughter is the best medicine a lot of people say. Really, it's about mostly returning to your toddler, getting more hydrated. Yes. When you do that, when you're happy, you're not perspiring, you don't have underarm perspiration, and you don't have the stress. Yes. So that makes a big difference, and it's so easy to do. Tell us about the healing power of art therapy and how it fits into the modern wellness. Well, I think it's, it's a big part of it. It's, it's companion to healing power of touch. Mm. Those two elements really heal people. You know, it's interesting, we did some genetic studies. We measured the gene expression changes in people over time. Okay. And one of the things that really was the biggest impact was the art therapy, mm. because it encouraged them not only in that class, but they carried it on over time. So we were able to see some gene changes, not maybe just with the art, but that combination exactly. of the laughter and the healing and being together with people, it made such a difference. And genes were changed dramatically. So we're gonna do some art therapy yeah, together. Absolutely. I can't wait, because I wanna hang mine up too. Okay, let's do it. <laughs>
but I always say, you know, be thankful for what you have yes. and not so worry about what you had. You know, at some point, none of us are going to be able to run as fast as we did when we were five years old Absolutely. or 10 years old. And as we get older, we're just fortunate to be able to walk, be happy with that, yeah. you know, for whatever we have. And, and I think that's another way that we can be happy is just be comfortable and, and happy with what you have. Right. Because I think um, some people really get caught up on what the past and what that looked like I and know. the future doesn't look like that for them. I so know, that can be very discouraging. Enjoy the day. Absolutely. Enjoy the day. You know, wake up. I tell people before you go to bed, write three things that were good that happened to you that day. Hmm. And people say, well, nothing happened. It was good. I said, well, <laughs> do you have a bed to sleep in? Okay. The people exactly. don't have a bed to sleep in. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So, you have an app. It's called oh, yeah. Better Every Day. Well, actually, so? it's Dr. Murad Inspiration. Inspirations? Okay. It's a free app. Okay. And, you know, um, it's you can get it anytime. Dr. Murad Inspira uh, okay. Better Every Day, but it's Inspiration. Inspirations, yes. And today it's Allow Yourself to Take a Chance. Um, yesterday's, you have the ability to develop That's your own life story. story. The day before, you had the power to. Two. That's one decide, of my favorites. Yeah. And each one has one of my art pieces. Yes. If it's no big deal, don't make a big deal about it. That's another Great. one. So every day you get a new one. You can decide what time you want it to come. Okay. And it's Dr. Murad Inspiration. Okay. And um, what it looks like when you get it, it looks like this thing, better every, every day. Every day, yes. I love it. So you just, why did you develop that app? What was your? Well, because I wanted to make available my passion, my vision of making people happy, happy living a healthy life, uh, a wellness, right. modern wellness, whatever you like. And it's available to anybody for free. And every day there's a nice inspiration. It's a nice art piece, whether you like it or not, it's okay, I don't right. care. Uh, <laughs> and and some, some of them may not pertain to you, but some they do. Yeah. And we've actually done research where people just looking at this, mm -hmm. a lot of times everything about them begins to change. Wow. Uh, we have them look at these and journal every day. Uh, and after a month or so, it's amazing how their behavior begins to change for the better. I, every time they have a new, they call it an affirmation, I call mm -hmm. it an insight, but it's, uh, it's remarkable. I look Just, forward to it. I have mine on the timer. Uh -huh. So usually after meditation, this will go off and it's time for me to read my inspiration. And you know, most of the time it may not specifically relate to you, but yes. somehow or other, a lot of times it does seem to. That day it makes a difference. Absolutely. I don't know, but not always. Great. So it's very easy and... Um, I really want to make people as happy and healthy as possible. You know, we are both doctors. Yes. What's our job is to make people have healthier, happier, more fulfilling lives. Mm -hmm. And that's my passion. I want to do that with the patients I see and any anybody that, you know, reads my app, anybody that awesome. reads about me. That's what I want. Awesome. So you have to tell me what's in the future. What big project do you have ahead? You know, I, I never know what the future holds, and I just look forward to it, whatever it is. I mean, certainly in the process of writing another book, you know, wow. I have uh, The Water Secret was very popular, yes. Conquering Cultural Stress, and I have all those little books that are, um, I call them um, a way to reduce cultural stress, yes. you know. Um, and um, so those are important to me. I make that available to the world, and I hope people enjoy it. And you have a new website coming up? A new up? website, yeah. Dr. Howard Murad, D-R-H-O-W-A-R-D-M-U-R-A-D.com. Okay. And it's all about modern wellness. Wow. And we talked a little bit about modern yes. wellness, how it's so different from the old time, because now we have cultural stress, the stress of modern living, and how devastating that can be to our life, yes. and how we have to deal with it. Okay. You know, it's going to happen to us. We can't change how right. there's more traffic, more pollution. Um, but how do we deal with it? Right. So what are your parting words of wisdom for us? My wish for everybody that I touch, whether by touch, physical, yes or see, or they read my books, is that they have happier, healthier, more fulfilling lives. And the way to do that is allow the unique you to blossom. Because every one of us has a unique opportunity to do something amazing in our life. And it's up to us to take a chance, take a risk, and do it, just like you're doing. Awesome, thank you, Dr. Thank Murad. You.